All right, this is my project. Since uh, I'm trying to make my own wiring harnesses, since I bought a couple of harnesses off of uh, eBay or G3 swap page. So if you've been following DIY Hemi, they used to have a diagram out there that you could download on how to take one of these harnesses. This, my harness came out of a 2006 LX, I think a charger, 5.7. So it comes with this connector and it has all the injector plugs, coil plugs, and for all your, that's for an AC, for your throttle body, your injectors, your alternator. Basically it has all your connectors you're gonna need and it terminates right here. And if you're lucky, they give you the little pigtail end that they chopped off. So to get this to run a regular 5.7 Hemi or whatever you're building, you're just going to pigtail onto this with your wires. I've got a fuel pump relay wired up. I've got the ASD relay is this one. And then you've got to source your, that one already has an orange harness, but you've got to get one of these white connectors from a junkyard and a black connector. I've got other black connectors here, but I'm using them for my... I'm using them to read my ODB2s when I hook up to the computer to power them up. So go to the junkyard or eBay, get yourself some white harnesses, white NGC connectors, a black connector they're starting to show up all over the junkyard so bring a big pair of um i use a big pair of cutters that i got from the harbor freight i think it was in the garden department because it'll chop through those wires so when you go to the junkyard get yourself a gas pedal connector they're all over the place now get yourself an ODB2 connector, which I have right here. Strip out all the wires so you can get some length because you'll want that as long as you can get it, but you're going to be under the dash for a while cutting some wires open. So I have a razor blade with you so you can slit the wiring open and then save that ODB2 connector. Or you can get them new. I could think I got one brand new off of eBay for uh, $5. So I ordered two more. But most importantly, get yourself this connector with your wiring harness. So, got this wired up. Just have to follow all the pinouts from all the different stuff you can find on the web. Kind of tells you where every wire goes. Pretty simple if you can read a wiring diagram and hook everything up. So. I've got the fuel pump relay, both the ASD and the fuel pump relay get power from a main 30 amp fuse. I'm going to have other fuses in line and series with the wires, but this is going to be going to the fuel pump. And this is the ASD relay, which gets powered on by the ECU when you apply juice to the yellow starter wire. So you don't need a starter relay since I'm using the car's start circuit is just supplying power to this wire which turns everything on i've got a the hot wire that powers on it's going to have a fuse with that and then your switch 12 volts wire this is going to be ground all the grounds are tied together and this is the wire that runs to all your injectors the capacitor 
and all your coils. So that's the hot main hot wire. It's gonna be uh, 12 volts whenever it's hooked up to the battery. So make sure you fuse that wire. Uh, that's about it. Everything else is plugged in. This was for like an AC connector for the AC clutch. So that's it. This is going to be hooked on to my 6157 on my stand, and I'm going to show this thing running. But uh, save yourself a lot of time by getting that harness with all the stuff already in it. This one didn't have the M MDS wires, like it must have come out of a four, five speed or six speed car. So it doesn't have the cylinder deactivation wires. They were already out of this plug. So I'm gonna show this thing running, plug it all in. I already hooked up the battery and I can see data off the computer. And it even shows me my uh, gas pedal moving whenever I push the gas pedal. So if I have the other sensors on here too, like the air inlet temperature sensor and anything else plugged in, I'd be able to, you know, like the oil pressure sensor, the water temp sensor, I'd be able to see them on my, uh, my tablet. Okay, so this is another wiring harness I'm building. This one came with a big other connector that came with my 5.7 out of my 2009-10 uh, end charger engine I bought. But um, I'm not saving that because there's too many extra wires I'm not using. So I've been cutting those and just grafting in the connectors I need. This one came out of a junkyard and I got a lot of length off the wiring when I stripped it out of the car. So uh, this is my wiring. My fuse block, ASD, and your fuel pump relay. That's all you need. Everything else uh, is like a starter relay. You don't need that. But this is all you need. Basically, you have to wire up. I got everything hooked together. Got it all wired. Really, it's not so bad if you, uh, if you can read a wiring diagram. But as you can see here, it's a big mess. But that's another wiring harness I've got for a newer engine I'm building. And uh, this is my hot wire harness that I showed running in my other video. So, good luck. I did a lot of pinning out with my, uh, my multimeter where I just have a, a pin in one end and a pin in the other end. And then I have this thing set to tone so I can find out where every wire goes. And, uh, yeah, boy, it's a, it's a big mess, but it saves you a lot of time. If you can, if you can figure this stuff out, you're going to save yourself a lot of time just using one of these harnesses that's still in good shape out of a junkyard. Just make sure you get this other pigtail connector or even get some wire length on this before you chop it out if you're going you know, to pull one out yourself. All right, good luck. Next video, I'll try to get this on the engine and show it running and show how easy this was. Once I get it running and if I want to put it in a car, this is going to be just on my engine stand, but if I want to put it in a car, at least I know all the wires were working and then I can lengthen what I need or shorten up what I what I need and then I'll make a another fuse block with relays like I showed on this one over here. This one I set up so it's all plugged in with male female connectors so I can yank it out and throw another one in there if I need to or make them up as I need them. All right so good luck.